Good afternoon to everyone. Myself, Rasipa Kakkar. I am a forensic science first year student from Government District of Forensic Science, Nagpur, Maharashtra. Uh, now, uh, my topic for today's presentation is forensic stylistics. Uh, style is a variable element of the human behavior. So, when considering it with the uh, written languages, uh, it is the uh, reflection of the individual or group characteristics. Uh, group characteristics that is the result of the writer's choice of selection of the writing style for uh, writing style from a uh, particular writing style from the array of all the available forms. Hence, the study of the individual and the group characteristics in a written language is termed as stylistic. And when we apply these studies in the field in the in the field of law or in legal proceedings, it, this comes under the uh, some branch of forensic stylistics. Forensic stylistics, also known as stylometry, it is the uh, it is used to examine the writing style for the express purpose of resolving litigated questions related to the disputed authorship. Now, while considering the uh, stylistic uh, features, we have to keep in mind the three main principles that is individuality, uniqueness, and distinctive conspicuous characteristics. First is individuality. As we all know that every writer has a writing style that is personal to himself. So this constitutes the individuality. Now, the second principle is the uniqueness. Every individual has a unique way of using a particular language in his or her writing or verbal communication. So this constitutes the uniqueness. And third is the distinctive conspicuous characteristics, that is the characteristics that the individual possesses in his writing or uh, verbal communication. It is clearly visible. So this marks as the individualistic characteristic of that particular individual. Moving on to the method of analysis, for analyzing the stylistic features in any document, there is a particular procedural, uh, procedural steps that we have to follow. The steps are as follows. The first step is getting organized. In this uh, process, in this step of the process, we have to collect, we have to arrange all the questioned uh, writing material and the uh, known writing material. The next step is of the stating uh, the problem. In this uh, process, uh, in this method, we have to uh, assign the research uh, pro research question that we are going to analyze. The third uh, process, uh, the third step is the procedural step. In this step, we have to compare both the known writing and the question writing, and we have to note down all the, uh, the, the, the similarities and the similarities between both of the material. The next step is the uh, specifying the descriptive results. In this method, we have to uh, mention all the uh, stylistic features or the stylistic variation that are present in both the samples. The next step is the uh, specifying the quantitative results. In this uh, step, we have to um, mention down the uh, statistical results that we have found out uh, by carrying out the various type of statistical test. The next process is the specifying identification, uh, sorry, uh, specifying excursion conclusion. In this step, what we have to do, we have to uh, compare both the uh, samples and we have to find out the dissimilarities between both the samples. Uh, what happened in this, we can exclude the, uh, the number of uh, uh, known, uh, we can exclude the number of writers from this step and only focus on the uh, writer who, ha who is having the, similar the similarity characteristics uh, with, uh, uh, similarity characteristics with the uh, question, docu uh, question document. The next step is the identification of the uh, conclusion. Uh, in this uh, step, we have to identify all the types of style markers. The next step is the uh, precedence cases. Uh, this, in this step, what we have to do, uh, if any uh, earlier event uh, or any earlier cases that uh, are similar to this case, we can mention in this uh, step so that it can be beneficial, more beneficial. The next step is the stating an opinion. Uh, in this uh, step, we have to state uh, what, what are the uh, opinion, what is the opinion that we have uh, concluded uh, upon observation and upon uh, analysis. The last uh, step is the writing the report. In this uh, step, we have to uh, formulate, uh, we have to uh, mention down all the findings that we have found out and the results that we have uh, got from the analysis. The types of identification uh, style markers that we uh, look for in the uh, question document are, are as follows, like format, punctuation, spellings, interferences, variation. And there are different types of variations, like semantic variations, functional variations, and lexical variation that are different and individualistic to the particular individual. 
Now, upon analysis and observation, we can get different types of evidences. As mentioned in my poster, the types of evidences that we can receive are, can be corroborative, demonstrative, substantial, rebuttal, or uh, uh, rebuttal and corroborative or cumulative. This leads me to the application of the forensic stylistic. Forensic stylistic can be field like it can be used in uh, voice identification it can be used in uh, uh, determining the authorship of the question document we can also determine the gender of the uh, individual uh, by examining the stylistic uh, features of the document we can also uh, examine uh, the in, uh, examine the intended meanings of the uh, languages that are used in courtroom proceedings and also it can be used in analysis of the discourse in legal setting and many others Lastly, uh, uh, forensic stylistics is used as a potential tool in a uh, solar in uh, potential tool in various types of uh, cases. One case I would like to share with you all is that uh, there was a girl named John Bennett Ramsey. Uh, she was uh, kidnapped on December 26, 1996, and uh, uh, when uh, investigation was done, there uh, was a six. Uh, uh, there was a three-page uh, ransom wrote ransom letter, a threatening letter that was found at the home. So the parents they move, they filed the complaint and the uh, the case then went to the court and uh, the investigation started. When the investigation started, what happened? Uh, the uh, uh, the investigating officer on. Uh, Finding out the uh, other evidences, they fo uh, they focused and they doubted doubted the uh, female uh, the uh, mother of the uh, girl uh, uh, mother of the girl. So now what the parents did, they uh, thought for an assistance uh, on this matter and they called the uh, forensic stylistics to uh, have an assistance in in this matter so that they could exclude themselves from the um, from the uh, uh, from this matter. So the analysis was done and the forensic stylistics performed various types of statistical tests and uh, various types of identi and identified various types of statistical uh, features and identified style markers. And then uh, in uh, conclusion, they find out that there are uh, dissimilarities between the question sample and that of the uh, samples that we have obtained from the father and the mother of the child. And hence they were excluded from this, uh, excluded from the uh, case. Uh, thank you.